don't know if we're gonna get out of this. The whole thing's vibrating, but we ain't moving. Oh no, this ain't good. Today we're out here and we have a snow day. I'm in Kentucky and it's pretty deep. It's like five to eight inches. I'm not sure because I don't have a tape measure. But at the same time today, I may or may not be making my first terrible decision of 2022. As you can see back here behind me, we have the all-terrain machine, except for water and air. It is the Can-Am Defender HD8. She's got pretty decent tires on her. Kinda, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. She's got lights, a bumper, a winch. Hey, that winch actually may save my life today. But most importantly, a windshield and doors. Now, whenever I bought this thing, it did not have windshield or doors. But with weather like this, if I did not have windshield or doors, I would be dead. Without further ado, guys, we're gonna go ahead and ride around a little bit, but we're not just riding randomly. We have a mission to do. I have to go and rebate my hunting spot. Yes, that's right. I'm dumping out corn. I have less than five days of hunting season yet, and I have not killed a buck in the past three years, okay? I'm on a drought, and at this point, if I see a spike, I'm gonna shoot it, okay? I'm j I, just ne I just need some meat, dude. I don't even care if it has a big rack. Regardless, we gotta go. Oh yeah, and my hunting spot, it's at the, it's at the, it's at the main top of a mountain. And I honestly don't even know if I can make it up there, but we're gonna give it my best shot, and we're gonna try our best. Hello, Steven, how are you doing today? You guys are now entering my helmet cam. Before we go out there and we truly get into the thick stuff, I want to test my abilities, okay? I want to see what my equipment can handle. So we're going high gear, two-wheel drive. Let's see what we can do. If I can't even handle myself in a field, I definitely can't handle myself going up a mountain that's like this. Donuts, pretty nice, I guess. Probably tearing up a lot of, a lot of nice hay under there. Probably ripping, ripping it down to the roots. And we got a few traps we can go check too. So let's go do that. Okay, okay, yeah. I can't, I can't really do nothing about this. If I flip, I didn't mean to. Okay. All right, now I got a couple tracks right here. I've actually got tracks going right past my trap. I don't know if y'all can see those or not, but check those out. This is important, okay? The tracks in the snow will tell you a lot. I can't be for certain, but I can be for certain that that was actually a fox or coyote last night. I know it's last night because it's pretty deep in the snow and there's only a few flakes covering it up. Now, my trap is actually right there, but unfortunately it's literally eight inches under the snow. So yeah, there's not a thing I can do about that. That trap's just out of commission for a few days, maybe even a week. I do got another one down there but just like the last one, I assume it's probably under eight inches of snow and nothing I can do about it. Yeah, it is. It's under snow. It's over there. I literally can't even, I don't even know where my trap is. Now I'm going to have to engage four wheel drive where I'm going to slide down the hill. Let's go four wheel drive and see what we can do. I do know that if I gas it, I lose pretty much all traction and I just start sliding around. But if I give it a little bit of gas, just enough to where the tires will move, I won't slide as much and I can just go down the path I want to go down. I'm actually gonna pop the window up. I'm gonna freeze to death, but at least y'all have better video, I guess. Cutting in here to tell you about this video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a completely free game to play on your PC, Android or iOS. In this mobile game, you battle things called champions. You can fight against actual people or you can take on bosses. If you want to download the game, use the QR code or the link down in the description. The newest boss just released in Raid and it is the Hydra. It's the biggest and craziest boss yet with six different heads. My favorite of its six heads is the Head of Decay. The Head of Decay will try to slowly weaken your team and at the same time keeping its other heads in good shape. Another head is the Head of Wrath. This head gets very angry. After you hit it 15 times, it gets a buff, which triples its attack power until the end of the next turn. Despite the new awesome clan boss, don't forget that you can also play PvP battles in arenas. That way you can take on real life people and put your skills up against them. Not to mention the weekly rewards that if you're an active player, you will get rewarded for it. Raid's also giving away a super limited edition champion to every player in the game. It's eSports legend and Navi superstar simple. All you have to do is log in for seven days between now and January 28th and he's yours. There's never been a better time to start because if you use my link in the description or my QR code, you actually get a $30 value. You get the champion Vergus, 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, and one ancient shard so you can summon some new champions as soon as you 
you get in the game. The rewards will be waiting on you here. Once you're in the game, you can find me under KG007. And if you're fast enough, you might even be able to join in my clan. So once again, link in the description or just scan this QR code. And big thanks to Raid for help supporting the channel here and letting us be able to do the things that we do. Driving in the snow like this can actually be pretty dangerous. I really don't do it very much at all. Mainly because it doesn't snow here a ton, so I don't have to. But in a situation like this, for one, if it's snowing, that's just physical stuff in the air that you can't see in front of you. And then if the snow is on the road like it is here, there's, there's that much snow on the ground, possibly ice underneath that if you break, you could slide into it just like that. I locked up, I slid up a little bit. Luckily, I wasn't going fast. And even on trails like this, if there's a lot of snow, you may not be able to tell that there's a big 10 inch rut right in the middle and then you get stuck, you bottom out. Boom, dude, you're stuck in the woods. And if you're in a rough spot, you may not even have phone service to you, you know get any help at all. Luckily on this thing, I have big tires, big clearance, and a winch that could help me a little bit if I got into a sticky situation. And of course there's me get putting it, putting the gas to it, which could increase my chances of getting in a sticky situation. Ooh. All right, now we're getting pretty close. See, and whenever I turn the wheels, my wheels don't really catch traction as good. So I meant to go that way, I went that way. It's just a bunch of things you gotta think about. We're gonna go ahead and start the climb. It's all about the climb, you know what Molly said. But yeah, this is our first test. If it can get up this minor hill, we'll go over to the actually big hill. And it's a lot steeper, a lot ruddier, and it's a lot worse place to get stuck in. Boom, right there, I slid into the rut. Even though I wasn't driving on the rut, I was missing the rut slid into the rut and there's just nothing you can really do about that even though tires are great tires still aren't the best traction grabber things for snow like this tracks are actually the best because they just have more surface area that can grab the snow this hill right here is pretty stout i'm gonna gas it see what we can do That's a good way to be rough on your machine, but luckily it's built to do that. Now we're gonna go up the big hill, but before we do that, let's go bully my pet polar bear. Hello, Steven! Hello, Steven! What are you doing, Steven? Come here, Steven! Steven! Oh. Oh. What are you doing, Steven? Come here, Steven! Ah. Roll over, Steven! Polar bear down. My boots indeed got snow in them already. Got this real nice KG chicken socks available. Kendall Gray wanted to call that shower shop. I'm out of breath, dude. Not as much oxygen in this cold air or something. <laughs> Can't breathe. Hello, Steve. How are you doing today? This is Steven's favorite type of weather, ain't it, Steve? You got your big old long fur all year waiting for moments just like this. Ain't that right, Steven? Ain't that right? Hello, my name is Steven. I sell you a DVD, one dollar. But now, let's get the corn and I'm gonna go try to lure in a spike. Oh my goodness, there's a squirrel. I'm just kidding, guys. It's actually the squirrel that I texted our miles to myself. His name's Timothy. You wanna watch that video? It's this one right here. It is a bang. And then down in here is my last bag of corn. It's cracked corn, but you know what? The spike's just gonna have to get over it. <laughs> nice. Good morning, Kanye. All right, guys, we are here at the bottom of the big hill. I don't know if y'all can recognize this, but this is the big hill from this video where we actually, uh, I don't know, got the mule stuck, essentially. Now, at that time, the mule couldn't make it up this at all. The defender could make it up it, but now there's eight inches of snow on it. So, ever how hard this hill was normally, it's just going to be amplified with some snow. Except now I just can't see the ruts. And there's some big ruts in this. Anyways, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this hill. Then we're hopefully at the top, we'll be able to check my trail camera and put out some more corn for the spot I'm trying to lure in. All right, guys, for this, I'm definitely putting it in low gear because at best, this is just gonna be a really slow crawl. That's my best option at this point. That's my only option at this point. We're just gonna crawl and hope that I don't slide into the rut. And if I do slide into the rut, hope that maybe I can slide out of it. That doesn't really make sense, but I don't know. We're open. The biggest problem might actually be coming back down because going up, at least I have a little control, a little bit by how much gas I give it. On the way down, it's really just gonna be up to how much can I break, it, which a lot of times in snow is zero. That's why snow in the mountains is so much worse than snow on like somewhere that's flat because at least somewhere it's flat, you can go forward, slide a little bit, go backward, slide a little bit. In mountains, you kind of just slide wherever the... Oh my goodness. 
I'm taking on a lot of water. I may sink this thing. But in the mountains, like this, you kind of just slide wherever the mountain wants to go. There we go. All right, we made it through the biggest hill. Now it's just gonna be running through little stuff like this and trail riding through the snow, which should be pretty epic. I'm gonna be quiet because I'm sure I'm getting kind of annoying. And uh, I'm just gonna let y'all enjoy this riding with me not talking. All right, here we go, I'll quit now. Be careful though because if I gas it too hard in the wrong spot I will slide into a tree and I'm not gassing it just to be gassing I'm gassing it to get going that way I can you know cover ground because it's, it's, it's a decent little distance up here this is what it'd be like if I had to get in here I had to get in here quick I can always take up oh, this is a pretty big hill I got stuck here in the summer whenever it's just mud, let alone snow. All right, we made it, that's nice. Now we get to see what it's like going down a hill. I think going downhill, my best bet's just gonna be uh, maybe just letting it idle downhill at its normal speed and uh, just let gravity pull me down real nice and slow. Because if I gun it, that's not gonna do it. And if I hit the gas, it hit the brake, I slide like that, like I slid for a few seconds right there. Uh oh, now we're sliding. We're down the hill. We're sliding down the hill. Okay. You know what? I'm honestly pretty surprised with this thing that it, it had no problems. Now, if I tried to start riding that road a lot and I messed up the fresh snow and turned it into mud, that's whenever I really think her problems would have came into play. Or if I hit a wet spot and slipped down the hill, and into a tree and got a tree lodge right in there. Yeah, that'd been a problem. That'd been a pretty big problem. All right, so as for hunting spot, you can see the stand way up there. That's a little bit of a problem because from all the people over the years that have hunted out of that stand, the deer automatically check that stand before they even walk in this area. So here pretty soon, I'm going to have to get a climbing stand and put it in one of these random trees, kind of throw them off guard. The camera I have is actually a Moultrie Base X. I think. It's their brand new camera. It's actually a cell camera so that I can leave it up here, let it take pictures as much as I want to, and then let it send the pictures back to my house. Since it is kind of hard to get to. Now my biggest problem is that I have been putting corn out and they've uh, been eating it within two days. Probably because we're in the middle of a mountain and there's no food up here, except my corn. But that's okay guys. I'm just trying to kill a buck at this point. And uh, you know what? Five days of season left, I'm putting out corn and I'm willing to shoot a spike. Okay, that's just how the cookie crumbled this year. Let me dump out this corn, then I'll show you the bucks I have on camera. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, dude. Y'all hear all those turkeys? Oh. Well, there goes this camera. It's broke now. That's terrible. That's really bad. Oh no. That's, 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 that's really bad. I dropped it in the snow. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I think it broke the camera. I'll catch you guys in a minute. I'm gonna let this thing warm up. That ain't good. I'm gonna dump out the corn, I guess. Catch y'all on about 0.5. <laughs> Okay guys, I put the corn out. <sighs> Nothing too amazing. Just uh, put it in a pile, as most people do. But anyways, I did get ice all over my lens, which is a problem, it's a big problem. I know it's a little blurry now, but I'm gonna run through some of the pictures I've been getting over the past little bit. The last picture of deer I had was last night at 12.30. There was obviously a pretty big snowstorm that came through, so that could explain why. Up in the evening yesterday, I had these pictures here, which you can see are a few does and all that, but I also had like a little six pointer show up, I reckon. And uh, just letting you know, if I see them, I'm letting them all fly. I'm kind of surprised that right in the middle of the snowstorm, they're still out here eating around. All right, so here's one of the bucks. You can see he's kind of not amazing, but uh, you know, he has antlers and that's literally the only criteria I, I'm trying to meet right now. Then here, I have the one. That's a spike. If it's brown, he's down. If I see him, I'm gonna try to shoot him. Try my best, at least. He's actually a four-pointer, so you gotta give me credit there. And then there's that one. It's a little funky. Bigger on one side than the other, but it doesn't really matter. A buck's a buck at this point. He's a pretty small rack, but guys, I'm just telling you, I'm getting I'm getting pretty desperate right now. And then we keep having these does that come in in daylight, but does is not really what I'm after. The biggest bug that I've seen in the area is probably this one. But 
He's not in season right now. Second biggest buck I had is this one. A pretty decent buck by probably anybody's standards. Not anything massive, but around here, you know what? That's pretty good, just saying. And the thing I do like about Moultrie's app is that no matter how many cameras you have out, it displays all the pictures in chronological order, so you can see which deer were where at what time. And even this one, it even shows me that it needs new batteries. So I guess I'll go change the batteries on that one sometime. Wait a second, that's that one. Well, I didn't bring batteries, so I can't do nothing about that old son. It's just gonna have a low battery for a while i know it's kind of late in the year guys but we finally dropped these kg gloves right here these are the ones i was using back in the fall they got a leather kg patch a stretchy cuff and pretty much overall stretchy material that way it can really grip onto your hand and you don't have a bunch of extra material just getting in the way so it keeps your hand warm but it doesn't restrict your movement we also have these two beanies one in hunting orange if you're still out hunting or this one right here which is green just like these gloves all these items are really warm so if you want those kindle gray one comes out shop or first link in the description and use promo code snow 10 all caps and that's going to give you 10 percent off all of the winter gear including these new items on kindle gray one comes shop anyways like at the beginning of the video i said there's a good chance i was going to make the first terrible decision of 2022 y'all remember the mule we're going to take it out for a little snow day okay we may or may not flip it i hope not but i'm just saying there's always a chance Anyways, guys, we are on the Kawasaki Mule. Let me get off and show it to you. Just in case you don't know, this is the Mule 610, okay? Absolute unit sometimes. Most of the time, it's not, though. I find myself, every time I pull this thing out, regretting my decision to pull this thing out. On the back, it does have tires with tread. On the front, it does not have tires with tread. It does have tires, though, as you can see. Now, according to this, we are on empty, but we're going to let it run anyhow, okay? 610 horsepower, like the name says. We have an objective, okay? Number one, we're going to try it out, see what, how it does in the snow. I'm not expecting much. But two, we also have to go start the Bobcat because my dad's getting ready to go out and scrape the roads. I got to go get it started for him, let it be warming up. And then three, I got this new gun, kind of. I'll tell you about it later and we're going to shoot it some. But first, let's see if this thing will start. Starts right up. All right, that's surprising. But anyways, put it in high gear. It's in one wheel drive, actually. And uh, let's just see what we can do. Sheba, what the heck you dug up? Anyways, we're gonna move through this. No, no windshield or door. So this is literally freezing, but that's okay. We're just gonna see how it can do. We're gonna make our way downtown, walking fast. Pull it on up here. And we're gonna stop right here at our first objective, which is this thing. Let's get up here and get this thing started. So I don't slip and die. Oops. Oh my goodness, hit the head of my window. Uh oh. All right, I don't know how to start it. Apparently I'm stupid. Why is this so hard to do with a helmet on? This thing ain't built out of a helmet. barely but it started and i'm just gonna leave it running because that's what i was told to do so now let's go shoot this gun and make sure that it works this is literally pedal to the metal high gear boys i'm talking we're scoop we're so slow we can't even do donuts right now uh oh that's how slow we're going this is a unit ain't it I'm talking about an absolute unit man this is uh something ain't it buddy this is actually terrible let me put it in four wheel drive lock it in maybe we'll scoot a little bit more all right, not much more in mind. Yeah, this ain't no snowmobile. It ain't nothing close to it either. All right, guys, we're going to just cut it off. I want to show you my new gun. This is my new, it's kind of new. I bought it like a year and a half ago. Y'all may remember the video. It's a 1022, but I just recently pulled it out and put a nice scope on it. Uh, I know it works, but I'm just going to try to shoot. I'm shooting with a helmet on, so you're just going to have to hope for the best. Kind of just got to aim it like a pistol. It ain't even sighted in. Open for the best. Here we go. All right, well, it shoots. Fortunately, I can't shoot it with a helmet on. I don't really know what I was thinking, but. Anyways, it handled that like a champ. I'm gonna go put this up at the house, and then we're gonna try to take this bad boy, though, mule, around a little bit. Now, nah, that sounds good. We're taking it down this hill. This is a disaster waiting to happen, but I think I can handle it. This thing's been through deeper snow, I can promise you that. You just gotta keep the hands on the wheel, cause she ain't got no power steering, and she will. 
slide. Oof. 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 Okay, we got this. I got this. Now coming back up, it there's not a chance, and I ain't even gonna try. This is the rough part. This is where the rock just drops off, and it may bottom us out. Buddy, that rock can be dangerous if you ain't, you ain't like knew it was. A Ooh, that one. So can that one. And so can that one. Man, dude, I need to fix this trail. Too bad I don't know how. This may have been a bad idea, dude. I think I've, I've noticed a pattern that every single time I pull out the Mule 610, it turns out to be a bad idea. Because I start driving this with the expectations it can do the same thing the Defender can, and that there is just not the case. It is not the Defender. Now I'm about flipped it. I'm at a 45 degree angle right here. Let's see what it can do in reverse uphill. Oh, son, I don't know if we're getting out. Oh, no. I don't know if we're going to get out of this. The whole thing's vibrating, but we ain't moving. Oh, no, this ain't good. No chance. We're already stuck. Nope, nope, we can't go that way. We can't go that way. This is what I was saying earlier. How now I'm sliding, and the snow's kind of just making me go where it wants to but that's not really an option i can't go that way i can't go that way dude the trail's over there what was happening oh my goodness no this ain't gonna work my tires are oh no this ain't good dude i love how in four wheel drive all four wheels don't spin what is going on what does four wheel drive even mean anymore it's not even four wheel drive there's only two wheels spinning oh my goodness we got two options and i ain't walking home Going through a dang pine tree, brother. Ah. Yep, I'm uh I'm glad I bought the defender. 